Welcome, everybody. Mike Brenner coming back to you. NHL action, and right now it's playoff push time. I'm joined once again with Dana Lane, NHL analyst. Dana had a great night for our viewers last night, going 2-0, and getting two convincing wins, both coming out of the state of New York. Dana, great to have you back with us. The Panthers are taking on the Boston Bruins tonight. I think this Florida team mightn't be starting to wear down. They gave up nine goals in their last two games. Break this game down for us and let let us know where the edge lies. Well, all I hear this morning is how the Bruins have lost four straight, and now they're talking about them not being in the playoffs rather than being in the in the top spot of the Atlantic. And, and look, they just got through a, a West Coast swing, and that West Coast swing didn't include Vancouver and Edmonton. That West Coast swing included the Kings, the Ducks, and the Sharks. There's not too many teams in this league that is going to go through that gauntlet and not look and not look bad at the other end. They came back last night on the East Coast where they're obviously more comfortable, play the New York Rangers, final score 5-2, to two, and everybody's going to say, well, what's wrong with the Bruins? Well, let's look at this game a little bit closer, Mike. They had two goals, uh, one because Brad Marchand was offside that would have tied the game at one, which completely changes the dynamic of the game. And then Lee Stepniak had a wide open net. The puck just didn't trickle over, over the goal line which would have made that game a one-goal game as well. So even though the Bruins have not had a ton of goals in their last four games, they certainly have had opportunities. And I like the way that they played last night. So we're going to go with a Bruins team that, that – can't lose to the Florida Panthers. And, and I know they did. They've lost five of six, and they're, you know, they're in trouble right now with the playoffs. But I think this is a wake-up call for this team. And I think they come back off of that road trip and say, all right, we got to get it done, guys, and we got to get it done tonight. Uh, who is going to be in the goal for the Panthers tonight? And if it is Rob, Roberto Luongo, um, I see him getting a little exhausted. Do, do you have any insight on that? Yeah, Luongo's going to be in goal tonight. And let's not forget the Bruins – not only are in the Panthers' head, but they got to be in Luongo's head. I mean, this goes all the way back to the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals where the Bruins beat them three times, and that really was the catapult for him going to Florida from Vancouver. I think the bigger question, Mike, is who's going to start in net for the Bruins tonight? Uh, you know, you know Tuka Rask got taken out last night after the first period. He has not felt well. Uh, got hit with a puck against uh, Los Angeles on Saturday. Just hasn't been the same since. Gustafson came in last night, had 13 saves and put 15 shots. I expect Gustafson to start tonight uh, due to that line being uh, at 115. Uh, usually, if Rask was going to start, this probably would be about 130 or so. Nothing official, but at 115, that tells me Gustafson's going to start. Yeah, Dana, and even though, you know, the Bruins have lost five of six and took an ass whooping basically in that game last night, um, I think it's a wake-up call for them. And again, this is just my insight. I think they're seasoned enough with the veterans on that squad to say, all right, look, now we're back on our home ice. Let's put this thing together. And, and I think it is a wake-up call. I'm very aware of what happened with Raza when he took that shot Saturday, and he does not seem to be the same. So, Hopefully, Gustafson can step up and realize, hey, this is an opportunity for him to make his mark as well. Um, Panthers, again, lost three of five, giving up nine goals the last two games. I think they're losing energy, and I think that veteran team that they have might start tiring down. Again, you may have said it, but what's the best shot line for the Bruins on their home ice tonight? A, a very fair minus a dollar fifteen. Okay, now on that dollar fifteen, with if there is a goalie change, do you think that line might? move up, might move down. Uh, what do you think for our viewers out there? Well, I think as of right now, I mean, there is no, even after morning skate today, there was no report on who the first goaltender was off the ice, which usually indicates who's going to start. Uh, but at 115, Mike, we, we certainly think that Gustafson's going to get the start. If Rask is named uh, as a starting goaltender, I do expect this to creep up. So you, but we like Boston either way. So you might want to jump on this right now in anticipation, maybe a Rask starting. Okay, well, you heard it. Whether Gustafsson's in there or Rask, the Bruins is the ticket casher tonight on their home ice. And right now, viewers, you can catch it minus $1.15 on the money line. It may go up through the day, but I still think, and I think Dana agrees, it's a good risk and it's a ticket casher. Okay, Dana, thanks so much for your insight. Let's tune in tonight and let's get it done and let's have another 2-0 night.